guys today I kind of have like um, you know I guess like a review and just a product I want to tell you guys about because it comes from somebody else with fibro and they didn't send it to me for review she actually was very sweet and sent this stuff to me as a gift but knowing she made it and she sells it on Etsy I was like you know tell me about it like tell me about yourself I want I want to share this, this is like these soaps are amazing so um, she I, I'm just gonna read exactly what she told me about it just because my pregnancy brain with fibro fog I don't want to leave out something important because I feel like I love the reasons she does this so I want to tell you guys about it so I'm just gonna read through what she sent me really quick and then I'll get on to the soaps many ask me why I make my own skincare products the simple reason is I feel I have no choice I tried so many sensitive skin products and none of them were right for me they had fragrances alcohols colors and most of the time they just burnt me or gave me a rash. The scents made my chronic daily migraines worse. The lotions broke me out in a rash resembling chicken pox, gave me cystic acne, and triggered eczema psoriasis outbreaks. Every soap, shampoo, body wash tingled and burned my skin. I have scars on most of my body, especially my hands, because of daily hand washing with regular soap. I thought I had no other options until I discovered handmade soap. In 2013, I traveled to Australia to visit my family. I had been sick for three years, and my only diagnosis at that point was daily chronic migraines and psoriasis. I traveled all along the Gold Coast and came across Imondi and came across Imondi Market. I'm probably saying that wrong. I saw a lot of soaps there and thought they were the smartest people on the planet. I love their soaps, but I still dealt with dry skin on a daily basis. When I got back with a suitcase full of soaps, I soon converted my family, and I kept buying handmade products and tried half a dozen different farms who sold goat milk products. Flash forward to 2015, I had been thinking about making my own soap for a while at that point. Studied it for months before I invested in the idea, and I couldn't afford to keep buying handmade. Since then, I have learned more and more about each oil and what type of ingredient most people have reactions to. I'm still learning, but I doubt I will stop. There are so many people with different skin conditions related to chronic illness and autoimmune problems, even cancer. Learning about each of my customer's skin issues helps me customize their products for them, which is another thing I wanted to bring up. She can like do custom soaps like around whatever your issue is. So um, I want to get out there why she does it and then she just goes on. It blows my mind with like how much she knows about essential oils and soaps. Um, and like what essential oils help what issues and stuff like that. Um, it's she said uh, that she also can use she uses like milk soaps, which would be like coconut milk, which would be a vegan soap, I would think. Um, and that would be awesome if you're vegan. And then if you're not vegan, if you're just like vegetarian or you know you like goat's milk, there's a goat's milk option. So um, I did like fall in love with these soaps. They'll be my cruelty-free favorites for sure, but I wanted to let people know because sometimes people get real huffy about stuff like, um, for instance, goat's milk being in a soap, and it's like, I understand vegans don't want that in their soap, so she does have options for that. So I just wanted to put that out there because I have had, like, you know, sometimes people are um, what my brother calls the vegan police. My brother is vegan. Um, he'll, you know, they'll be like, it's not cruelty free because it has goat's milk or you know what I mean so I just want to put that out there that she does have vegan options too um, so just you know in case anyone's vegan um, anyway she said she recently started her own website and she's trying to um, integrate traffic from her Etsy shop to her new online store and I'm gonna list all the information in the uh, description box below for you guys um, she also has a blog on her site and she keeps it updated as well as her Instagram um, and she's hoping to do a YouTube channel in the future. So yeah, that is the information about the company that Alicia sent me and the company's name, because I didn't say it, is made for hypersensitive. She actually gave, sent me um, a bunch of business cards and I actually, I, I should have saved one for the video, but um, I gave them all out to my friends that have migraine issues and a few that have kids with autism because a lot of kids with autism are super sensitive to smells. Um, like, for, cause like, okay, for instance, you can go into Hobby Lobby and buy 
what they label as lavender oil fragrance. And there's a big difference between that and like actual lavender oil like she uses. Um, now that I'm pregnant, I can smell when it's a fragrance oil versus an actual essential oil. And like fragrance oils have like certain smells have bothered me a lot during my pregnancy. And that's why I absolutely love her soaps because like they they smell good. Even the unscented one just smells like, um, I think we're trying to find the one. I've used two of them before I did this and I saved the rest to just kind of show you guys. Um, Cause I wasn't gonna open them all and get, you know, I want to use them one at a time. Um, the unscented goat's milk soap had goat's milk, palm oil, sweet almond oil, coconut oil, and apricot kernel oil. It was unscented, but it also had just a very light, sweet smell. Like, I love almond oil, so automatically I can always smell it and everything. So I was like, <sighs> it was just a nice scent, but it wasn't like scented to where it would bother anyone with scent issues, if that makes sense. The other one I tried and loved was Bit O Honey Soap. And I don't know what's in it because it was a sample, but I loved it. And both the soaps were very, you know, gentle on my skin. They didn't, like, parts of my skin have gotten dry with pregnancy and it didn't, like, irritate it further, you know? And uh, Justin was using the soaps and I was like, did I say you could use my soaps in the shower? <laughs> I was just teasing him, like, excuse me, you have your own soap. I'm testing these so I could do a review on them, plus they were sent to me. <laughs> I'm just like, I was kidding with him. I would never tell him he couldn't use the soap, but he really likes them too. So um, yeah, and he's very picky about soap as well. Uh, he doesn't like anything that dries his skin out. The skin gets dried really easily. So we both really loved these two soaps, and I'm so, so excited to try the other one she sent me. Um, I didn't open them from here because I didn't want them to get like stuck together, you know? But um, I'll just show you how she sets. She sent them like so cute. And then when you open it, um, they just smell so good. I don't want to open them all because I'm scared they'll like get stuck on each other. You know what I mean? Because I put them in my soap bin that I keep all our extra soaps in so we run out, we grab a new one. Um, frankincense, patchouli, and rose shea butter soap. Oh, this smells so good. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, it's like. Do y'all ever go into like, okay, like when we were on our anniversary trip, we would go into these little antique stores and they would have just, they just smelled so good and so natural, the soaps they have, and it's just like that. Like, it's just like, you can just smell it and you just know that it's like good, natural, not a bunch of chemicals, which is super important to me while I'm pregnant. And she's so sweet. She sent me like all these soaps and samples and goodies. And yeah, I just wanted to take a moment to share with you because um, you might notice I'm not doing a lot of reviews, but when she just sent me this little care package with her soaps, I was like, I need to like talk about this because this is amazing. You know, um, like you, I don't know, like they sell stuff in stores and like I said, they can be labeled as like, okay, for instance, my friend is using um, the Avino like lavender nighttime um, lotion for her baby. She bought a bunch of it. And I was just like, I smelled it while I was pregnant and I was like, this isn't even lavender oil. Like this is fragrance. And I just, oh, yeah, like I was just like, they're never telling anyone what to do, but I was like, oh my God. This is like to me, I could smell the difference. And you could smell the difference on her baby. <laughs> like I know that sounds crazy, but there, it is just like a huge difference. And if you're somebody that's like really sensitive to stuff, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. You can tell the difference between something natural and something that's like fragrant chemicals. So I just, so I just wanted to take a moment to share with you guys the information um, about her company and her Etsy site and just about her in general. Um, and Alicia, again, like thank you so much for the sweet package of soap. I was so excited to get them. And they make my bathroom smell so good, the ones that do have essential oils in them. So um, I'm excited to finish off the batch she gave me, but I finished up two of them before I kind of talked about it because I wanted to like give you guys some information about it. But yeah, if you have like, especially like if you're dealing with dry skin and stuff, I noticed it's just very moisturizing. Um, it doesn't like over dry it. Um, 
yeah, I know a lot of us with fibro and there's a lot of people that follow me with lupus. We all kind of have like skin issues and sometimes our skin's great and sometimes we get like weird, like our skin gets weird and it's hard for it to repair itself. So this is like something I wanted to tell you guys about. I don't know if you guys remember like my cat allergy vlogs where I had issues. I made sure that when I showered, um, usually when I shower, when I have allergen issues, especially from cats really bad and I'm broken out into hives. Um, when I shower, unless it's a very pure and natural soap, I just rinse off until like my hives and stuff go down. But uh, unless if I have something like this that's like pure and natural and you know not a bunch of chemicals when my skin's already irritated, I was able to shower with the soap without making the situation of hives and like, my allergens worse. And that's what really made me like this is good. This is like good quality natural products like it's just it's really good I can't say that enough but yeah so I'm super pleased with it I um, I love that she is able to make stuff and be so knowledgeable about oils so like if I want to order something for Jackson you know she knows what essential oils that babies shouldn't have on them because they shouldn't have necessarily there's some essential oils that shouldn't be on babies um, and I love that she knows that and she's taking the time to like learn about this stuff and research and become so knowledgeable so I just wanted to share that with you guys if you guys have skin problems go check out her website and I'll see you later bye